All right, here it is, and we can see the installation screen. But before proceeding with the installation, uh, it's I think it's a good idea to create the MySQL user first, and you can do this either in the command line or in the PHP MyAdmin. So let's go the easier way. And okay, we have to log in again. And you can go to the privileges and add a new user. Just give it, I'll just give it a simple name, Drupal localhost, add your password. Or you can just use the generate password tool here. And you can also create a new database with the same name right at the same time. And now our new database appears here on the left side. And for now it's empty because we have not added anything to it yet. And now we're going to our Drupal installation screen. And um, at this point, if you've install Drupal 6 a hundred times and you can do it with your eyes closed. You can just skip the rest of the screencast. Or you can stay with me as I go over the major highlights in uh, a new Drupal installation. So I'm going to install it in English for now. Okay, and of course you get this warning screen which requires you to do some actions. First, let's create a new settings file. You can do, well, let's go back to our directory. And copy the default settings file. Yeah, let's change permissions. Let's change permissions. Okay. And we'll do the same for the files directory. Let's create it first. Okay, let's retry the installation. Okay, enter the database name as usual. And the username and password. Let's change back the original permissions. Let's check it if it worked. Okay, looks good. Let's go back here. Um, you can use your own email address or, or it can be a dummy address for this test site. And you will need to create an administrator account. And as you can see, clean URLs are enabled. 
and okay um, here's another thing that we have to do is that um, install and configure a mail server so that we can check the uh, mail functions on um, a Drupal site but that will be the topic of one of the future screencasts and now you can go to your new site and um, start tinkering with it